Okay, sweet. So congrats to Jean for having 600 volume last week. Y'all, your goal should be having at least 500 personal volume points. Um, and that's when you'll really start to see your income start to pick up from having residual Shakeology Home Direct orders. Um, that's when the party happens. Congrats to everyone who is in Success Club, Roka McFarland's at Success Club 10. I had a really rough start to the month, y'all. And it was last week that I was following up like a mad woman. I think I followed up with like at least 300 people, which when you saw me sponsor like five or six coaches last week, that's why. Um, the fortune's in the follow-up, you guys. Um, but now I'm at 16 or 18, because I was at like two, and I'm like, holy crap, it's the 12th of the month, and I'm only at Success Club 2. Um, so follow up with people you've already invited that, you know, the timing wasn't right for them. See, add them to a free group. If you guys were in our, um, our call with Jatana Jackson, that she talked about the challenge group sneak peeks, try one of those for everyone who's told you no. Um, do one of the challenge group sneak peeks. I have that YouTube video. Um, it's on my YouTube the recording. And then congrats to Marina, Kat, Andrea, Jennifer, Monica, and Rabia for hitting Success Club 5. You guys, we're on the 18th of the month. It's go time. It's time to push. Don't wait until the last second to hit Success Club. Go every single day change lives. And this power hour, that's what it's all about. We have a lot of people almost there. Amanda Berry, Chantel um, B, <laughs> Sarah Riblin, Vanessa, Marina, Caitlin, Kristen, Angie, Ricky, Maggie, Rachel, Aaron Wilson, Chanel Alexander, Mackenzie Flanagan, Star Carol, Lisa Cipriani, Christy Manry, Stevie Gray, Nicole Miller, Shelly McLean, Courtney Deggett, Ariel Bellas Twiz. Y'all are on the board with points, which means you can make success club happen. I have no doubt, y'all. Okay. Our team builders of the week, Caitlin McDay, Chantel, Elaine McDonald, Chrissy Manwaring, Mackenzie Flanagan, Mary Titino, Marina Kunjeris, Monica Bays, Rabia Messer, Stevie Gray, all signed up a coach last week. Congrats, you guys. Rank advancements, Caitlin McDay and Rabia Messer and Chantel Badalamenti are all brand new Emerald coaches. And Marina Kudujeris is in one-star diamond qualification. Yay, Marina. So now she basically has to hold her rank for six weeks, and then she'll officially be a one-star diamond coach. So really exciting stuff from Marina. Announcements. We're going to switch things up a little bit. Some people are asking to do a webinar. So a week from today, right after our team Zoom, we're going to do a webinar at 9 o'clock Eastern time um, presenting the business. And so invite to the webinar for this coming week, okay? All right, that's all for announcements. Do you guys have any announcements or anything? Any successes, anything you wanna share? Oh look, it's Kristen Jones's first team Zoom. Hi Kristen. Sweet, okay, so I wanna close out of this. And let me pull up everything that we're gonna be doing. Okay, so I posted in the chat um, to start writing out your list of people that you're going to start inviting, five to ten people that you want to invite, five to ten people you want to follow up with, five people you want to start a conversation with that's not business related at all, um, a list of your current challengers, and then pen or pencil because we're getting to work, y'all. We are getting to work. Okay, so... First thing that we're going to do, you are going to spend the first five minutes adding at least five to ten new people to your network, okay? And so this could be on Facebook, going to your friends of friends, the people you may know. This could be in a Facebook group. This could be on Instagram. Maybe you search a hashtag on Instagram of something that really interests you. And so um, a hashtag that I would say, hey, Kenyatta, um, would be Proverbs 31 Ministries, because I know that totally has like my ideal client right there. It's a woman of faith. She's probably a mom. Um, so on Instagram, searching hashtags and looking at people's profile, who looks interesting, someone that you would love to work with? follow that person and send them a direct message. And it could just be so easy as, hey, I saw we have so-and-so in common and I would love to reach out to you. So this doesn't have to be weird or anything. Someone that you have something in common with that you want to reach out to. 
So right now I'm going to use Crowdfire. That's one of my favorite ways to build my network. And so it's an app on your phone, Crowdfire. And this is, this makes it really easy to add to your network on Instagram. And so I just connect my profile right here. I click the little thing on the left and then I'm going to go to copy followers. And then I'm going to search for an account. You have to do some research on Crowdfire before you use it, but I know Proverbs 31 Ministries. Again, that's a really good account. I just click search. This app is magic, you guys, if you want to build on Instagram. And then I click that little copy button. And then these are all the people that follow Proverbs 31 Ministries. I'm going to click that green button for all of these people. I'm just going to go like, this, 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 and follow all of them. Rachel has over a thousand followers thanks to Crowdfire. So I'm just going to go and follow until they tell me to stop. All the people that follow me back, I'm just going to send them a message, say, hey, thanks for following me. I love, and then I'll tell them a little bit about me. I'm a mom. I'm strong in my faith. I love to travel, and I would love to get to know you better. Tell me a little bit about you. So this is just meeting new people, building the relationship. So maybe you're in a groups. I know I was in some mommy groups. I'm in some intermittent fasting groups. I'm in, I'm in a lot of different groups. And those are some great ways, um, the people in those groups. You can shoot them a friend request and then send them a message. Hey, I saw we're in the intermittent fasting group and I, I would love to connect. How long have you been doing intermittent fasting? Or say, hey, I saw we're in the same mommy group and I'd love to connect with you. How old are your kids? solely building the relationship okay when you are done please type in the chat that you are done and if you have any questions type them in the chat too hey rachel i got distracted by my crowdfire are we doing the number two list of five to ten names to follow up with not yet. So right now you're oh, doing adding that to your network. When you're done yeah, adding to your network, type in done in the chat. Okay, thanks. And this is what we're doing during the power hour PS. This is what we're going to be doing. Hey, Rachel, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Um, so do you ever go back? Because I was listening to a coach that said they went back later on in the week if someone didn't follow them after like so many days. Do you do that or no? Yes. And so um, if I send them a friend request, I'll actually show you guys my tracker. Okay. Because I was curious how that – I watched that on YouTube, but, you know, it's just nice asking someone in person. I'll show you what I do. Okay. I'll turn my thing off because my kids are playing hide and go seek and they're very loud. Okay. So I have, um, this is on Google Docs and I have um, a sheet just for Instagram because I find sometimes I'll send a message on Instagram and I'll try and send a message to the same person forgetting that I already messaged them and invited them and it didn't show me the first one. So then I double invited them when they already told me no. So I have a tracker. Yeah, I felt like a fool. Um, so I have a tracker here of just everyone that I, not everyone that I add, but everyone that I actually send a message to. Um, so I'm not messaging people over and over again. And then on Facebook, 
I have a list of everyone that I add. And then once they accept my friend request, I get a notification. I send them a message and I put here messaged. And then all the people that I added that don't have a message here, I just search their name. I go back. Um, or if you go up here to pending friend requests, I think you go to view all. So these are, okay, and then you go to view sent requests because you don't want to have too many pending sent requests. So I have, okay, I have quite a few. So what I'm going to do is cancel a request. I do this like every couple weeks. On Instagram, do you do the same thing? Go if they ne if they never friend request you and you never sent them a message, do you do you delete it as well? No, Instagram doesn't have as strict of um, rules as Facebook does. Okay. At least at this point, let's hope it never changes. <laughs> but they're owned by Facebook, so. so. Okay, but you go in there if you so let's for instance like the people you just did on Crowdfire and you go back, do you send any of them a message or do you wait till they friend request you and then you send them a connection They don't have message? to friend request me. I can see who follows me. If they follow me back, anyone who follows mm -hmm. me, I can send them a message. Okay. So, okay, I didn't have that many. I only had like 10 or less than that. So you definitely don't want to have a ton of pending friend requests and you don't want to be sending a bazillion friend requests at one time. I don't, I try not to send more than five to 10 within the hour and then I can come back and do it later. Um, Facebook has put me in jail for multiple, multiple things. I've even been in Facebook jail for a month for some stuff. And I was like, that was how I was building my business. So I had to get really creative and expand the box. Okay. Are you guys done with this or do you still need more time? I need feedback because otherwise I'm talking to a bunch of people staring down or blank screens. Talk to me, please. You're done. Still adding as we wait. Pretty much done. I'm done wrangling the toddler. TJ came out looking for me. It's, he's supposed to go to bed and my husband's putting him to bed and he wanted me to put him to bed. He wasn't happy. <laughs> Almost done. I'm behind, but I'll catch up. Okay, so we'll move on to the next thing, which is starting five new conversations. So this could be so easy. Okay? This could be you going through your newsfeed and just seeing somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Okay, Lynette's already coaching my team. But I could just send her a message and be like, hey, Lynette, how's it going, girl? Look at their profile, see what they're up to. Oh, I saw you just went on vacation. How was it? What's new? Oh my gosh, look at the picture of your baby. You had a baby? Like, just building the relationship, okay? That's pretty much all we're doing. Something that I love to do is the happy birthday message. And so if you go to your right, right here, I can see, wait, no, not that one. Facebook, go back, go back. Okay, so I see whose birthday it is today. This is an awesome way for me to weed out my friends too. So if I'm friends with like some funky people that I'm like, I don't need to be friends with you, I can defriend them. Um, but I could just easily go to, I know Hannah's a like herbal life or something. I probably don't need to be friends with her. Amy's a coach. Kathy's a coach. Natasha. So I could just send her a message, right? Hey, Natasha. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. That's it. Okay. So building the relationship. So I do that with all the birthday people and then just random people in my newsfeed. But it gets harder for me because everyone in my newsfeed right now is a coach. <laughs> but you can actually set up um, preferences for your newsfeed. So when I send someone a friend request and they accept my friend request, it's actually when you send them the friend request, you can do this. I'll show you. 
Um, am I friends with Shannon? No. Okay, so I'm friends with her. But once I send her the friend request, I can go up here to add to another list. And I can go down here to new list. And so I see, I already added her and I added her to my March invitation list. So then what I can do, oops, when I'm in my newsfeed and I just want to see, um, go down to interest friends list. So all I want to see is the March invite list in my newsfeed. So these are everyone that I added as a friend with the intent to get to know them, build a relationship and invite them in March. So I could just go see their stuff, like, like and comment, and then go to their um, page and send them a message. Hey, how's it going? That's funny. When you're done with this, starting five new conversations, type done. This is the super easy, easy peasy one. Oh, Aaron's on. Hi, Aaron. And this is also a good time to screenshot and share what we're doing. So, hey, Snapchat, I'm working with my team tonight. We're getting some work done, changing some lives. Hey, ladies, you guys are gorgeous. So, hey, Snapchat. See, check that out, breadcrumbing as we do this. For new coaches, breadcrumbing is basically just sharing what you're doing as a coach on social media. And so it doesn't have to be like a join my team, join my team. It's just sharing your life. And so it could be as easy as taking a screenshot of what we're doing right here and, or a picture of you. And I'm so blessed that I'm able to work with these ladies that inspire me to live my dreams or go after what I really want. Or I'm so blessed that to be a part of this team that has this kind of training so I can learn how to X, Y, and Z, whatever you want to say. But we share things like that on social media because if you're one of my coaches, that's probably what attracted you to me, right? Because you saw what I was doing. Okay, when you guys are done with those combos, please type done.
Kenyatta is done. Katie's almost done. Kristen has one more left. Rachel's done, Susan's done. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is the next 10 to 15 minutes, we're sending out invites and or cold messages. This is what we're doing. And I'll pull up the scripts. Okay, so I'm posting the simplified steps with the scripts in the chat. So I wanna pull up the coach invite scripts. And I'm gonna share these, they're in the simplified steps, but just making things easy. And so with these, with inviting, and so you can do part challenge group, part coaching opportunity. I tend to invite mostly to the coaching opportunity as opposed to challenge groups. That's just where I am in my business right now. But if you're a brand new coach, you definitely need to do both inviting the challenge groups and the coaching opportunity. Um, but right now I just want you to think of who you want on your team. Go through your friends list. Who do you want to join you? And then um, this is the one that I like the most. Any questions about this task so far? This couldn't be inviting to a free group too. So if you have a free five day challenge, if you have a free um, goal setting group, we have a lot of templates for those groups. So it's completely up to you on what you're inviting to right now. But hey, I'm running this free group. I just thought um, I thought of you and was wondering if you want to be a part of it. Do you want to join? Boom. And with inviting, remember not to prejudge who you're talking to. So don't think, oh, they wouldn't be interested or, oh, they wouldn't want to do something like this. It's not up to you to decide if they want to do it or not you really don't know what's going through their head. You might see them as having like this really important, successful job, but maybe they hate it and they really want to do something on their own, but they don't know what they want to do. Hello, you can come in and invite them to the coaching opportunity. So invite, invite, invite with no prejudgment on who you're inviting because you don't know who's going to say yes. You don't know who's going to say no. The people that I thought would say yes and would rock this have told me no. The people that I never thought in a million years would do it told me yes. So you have to invite with an open mind, okay?
Another thing to remember when you're inviting is to have a good posture. Remember that you have something amazing to offer. Okay? So you're not bugging people when you're inviting. You're giving them a chance to completely transform their life. So don't hold back. Don't think you're bugging people. If I know someone's a military spouse, no. I would not bring that up in the initial contact um, story. So Beach Party gave me a customer lead and they were military in Afghanistan. He was doing P90X, he was getting awesome results. And before getting to know him and figuring out why coach should be a good fit for him, I just said, you should be a coach. You can do it for free. There's a military discount. Um, and I totally scared him off just by being like, you should do this because X, Y, and Z without really getting to know him and what was important to him. And so if I know someone's military, it's just kind of like a benefit. So I'll just say, I think this would really benefit you because X, Y, and Z. She was the fo I kind of know the person. Have you talked to her about coaching and why it would benefit her? Not yet. So I would invite her or at least form her, get to know her form, stands for family, occupation, recreation, and message, which is basically a way of just asking questions to get to know them, what they're all about. Uh, so I would just, you know, you can send a cold invite if you want, but I would not bring up military um, right away. That would be like towards the end when you're talking about signing up. By the way, you have this huge benefit um, to kind of seal the deal. That's at least what I would do for my experience. Yep, no problem. Also, what's really important, if you have not done so already, is to make sure you've created a list of people to invite. If you're a brand new coach, we haven't gone over this yet. I know Kenyatta and Kristen, you guys are like brand spanking new. Um, we're going to go over this in your new coach video series. Um, but you want to make sure you have a list of people. And so you saw my Excel spreadsheet, right, right? So I have this entire spreadsheet of people that I can invite, people that are on my list. So these are Facebook people I can invite, Instagram people that I've been talking to can invite. Your list is your business. So if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. Really, really critical. And someone stays on my list until they tell me to take them off. And so when they're like, Rachel, I'm not interested, leave me alone, then I take them off the list. But they have to give me a firm no, like, don't ever contact me again. Because otherwise, things change in their life and their circumstances. Um, many of you that are here that are my coaches, I followed up with you many times. You stayed on my list, and I did not take you off. When you're done with this, go on the chat and type done.
all my list are on post-it notes and scraps of paper. I see them all the time. Do what works for you. If you're a pen and paper kind of person and that's how you can be organized, that's fine. I hate pen and paper. I do everything digital. But whatever works for you. Yeah, I think that's fine. You don't have to, you don't necessarily have to do all of that. What you can do is just this. Oops. So what you could do is just stop it at the, have you ever thought about doing what I'm doing? Um, what I would do is try it both ways. Try it with that whole message and try it without and just um, end it at, have you ever considered or have you ever thought about doing what I'm doing? Because I, I seriously, I just test everything. I try everything. I try all different scripts, all different things. <laughs> so if one works better for you than the other, awesome. How long do I wait between no's? Um, so have you used the follow-up scripts? What kind of a no has it been? Just, you know, the not right now, or they don't think it's for them. So I, I don't want to follow up too soon and come off as pushy at the same you know what I mean have you used the objection scripts yeah and they still think, say um, no? yeah so then I would say like a month later I would follow up but it wouldn't be with if they told me no it wouldn't be with the intention of hey you should sign up to be a coach when you already told me no it would be with the intention of adding value hey, this is something that I totally thought about. Usually when they're on my list, they're like in Google Streak. And so all through Google Streak, I'll just send them like a healthy recipe or a healthy tip or something like that to add value instead of pushing my agenda, right? Okay. Because they, if you do it, if you invite too often after they said no, they can totally feel that and they'll start to get annoyed. Um, you want to make sure it's more about adding value. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Are you guys done with this? Ready to move on to the next thing? Please type done in the chat. Station's done. Rachel has one more to do. Susan's done. Okay. So the next thing. Spend five to 10 minutes checking in with your current challengers. So, hey, how's it going? Especially if they've been quiet, you haven't been checking into the group, how are you? This is really easy to do if you're using that, um, the app, the Beachbody app, because you can log into the portal and see who has not been logging in their workouts or their Shakeology, and you can easily have their email pop up right there, whoever's in your challenge group. If you're still doing it on Facebook, that's fine. Either way is good. But just, hey, how are you? What are you liking most about the challenge so far? What have been your struggles? Talk to me. You already did that at your lunch. Okay, then go back to sending out more coach invites if you already did this part.
done. Jennifer's done. Caitlin's done. This is the really easy one. <laughs> when you're done with this, we're going to spend the next five to 10 minutes following up. Here are the follow up scripts. The fortune is in the follow up. I promise you. Raise your hand if you said no the first time. Too bad everyone's frozen. So you're either ignoring me or I can't see you raising your hand. Okay, we'll use the follow-up scripts. See, Rachel, you said no. I said no like four to five times to my coach and that was just for the discount. You did your follow-ups already. Susan turned me down a bunch of times. You have all these people messaging you now. So that's when it gets hard when everyone starts messaging you back. What I suggest you do is go through the entire power hour and don't get sucked into all the messages going back and forth. Get through everything on your list and then go back and see who responded. I've been a coach for a week so my follow-ups aren't really that long. That's fine. The longer you are a coach, the more people you'll have to follow up. It's a bad habit of mine. Following up is a really bad habit of mine too. But what I do, I put it on my schedule. I do this at monthly, sometimes more than that. Depends on how much I'm struggling with um, success club points. <laughs> so I do it every month. And then when I have something like specific, I know I need to follow up with somebody about then I have it in Google Street to send me a task alert. Um, before that, I did not follow up and it was really, really bad. Thanks God for Google Street. And just really annoying until I finally caved. Yeah, and just really annoying. Just kidding. Um, yeah, you signed up for the discount. So funny. I signed up for the discount too. Look where we are. But have some kind of a system where you follow up. Either you send a task alert through Google Streak. If you're a new coach, don't worry. We'll go through how to use Google Streak. Um, pen and paper, send an alert on your phone. Whatever it is that works for you. I tried so many different methods to try and follow up. Excel, when I was going through this Excel document, I was like, I was looking through my notes and I was like, oh, she said she was going to sign up as a coach in April. And then I went and like looked at the messages and I was like, oh, no, it didn't work. So Excel works partly for me for keeping people organized, but not following up. When you're done with your follow-ups, type done in the chat. And I just recently followed up with everybody. Like if you're on the call early, I said I followed up with like 300 people last week. Kristen's done, 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 okay. You guys, that's the power hour. That's it. That's this business. And so this all, like there's nothing really special about this business. It's doing that and doing it consistently. That's where people struggle. They'll do this when it's convenient. They'll do this when they feel like it, but they don't do it every day. This power hour has to be in every single day, non-negotiable, no matter what, if you want to build your business. You guys have any questions about what we did? I know it's not sexy, but it's what works. Wish you guys weren't frozen. I feel like I'm just talking to myself. 
That's why my success partner quit because it's not sexy and she can't stay consistent. If you stay consistent with these things, you will be successful. I'm telling you that now. And it won't happen overnight. It won't happen your first month. It was me doing this for a solid year consistently. Like after six months of doing it, I was like, oh, it's starting to happen. But it was after a year. I was like, oh, it's really happening now. Wow. So you got to do this with faith that it will pay off. Any questions, you guys? You can either unmute yourself or type in the chat. And if you haven't done so yet, have a set time that you're gonna do your power hour. Maybe you're gonna wake up early, do it before kids wake up, before you have to go to work. Maybe you're doing that on your work break. Maybe after the kids go to bed, nap time but have it as a routine. So every day, this is what I'm gonna do at this time. Good, 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 good. Happy like it, Susan. I felt like people needed a refresher, especially since we had a bunch of new people. I wanted to make sure they knew how to do it right. Okay, last call for any questions. nothing okay well thank you guys so much for getting on it was awesome to get to work with you and yeah no problem you guys um let's finish the month strong so if you're not at success club it's time to push so instead of doing five to ten invites do 10 to 20 invites up those numbers so you can get more results it's really the, the secret sauce, consistency, and then talking to more people. So if you're struggling right now, you're probably not talking and inviting to enough, enough people. That's pretty much it. But okay, so it's getting late, so I want to make sure you guys get some beauty rest and keep inviting if you want to invite. Um, but have a great night, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye, everybody.